because you know my next guest from Community and Mom. Please welcome back to The Late Show, the very funny Yvette Nicole Brown. Good to see you. How you been? It's been too long. It's I'm been two years. Good. What you been doing with I've yourself? Been, I just want to say first, it's so nice to be with my fellow DonorsChoose.org uh, supporter. Oh, that's right. If people love out there know what DonorsChoose is, go to DonorsChoose.org. It's, it's, it's the greatest charity of all time. It is. Too much to explain, but trust yes, us. Yes, please go. Just go. Past 48 hours, yes. you have been tweeting up a storm. How are your thumbs? Or did you pull a muscle? What are you tweeting about and why? I am tweeting about third-party candidates, everybody. Um, so Howard. Howard Schultz, you're Howard, not happy about it? Howard, nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares, Howard. I feel like at this point, Stephen, if anybody is running third candidate with what we have gone through for the last two years, they either don't care about America or they're having like this ego fever dream. It is not the time. 2024 is your year. 2020 is not. If you want to run for president, you need to either be a Republican or a Democrat, fight it out in the primaries, and earn the nomination. Anybody sneaking in on third party, they're cheating. Well, worries me. It's not so much anybody doing that. I would say, like, you know, if you or I yeah. wanted to do that, I'd be perfectly fine with it. What worries me, mm -hmm. and obviously it's America and everybody's free and every yeah. little boy or girl has a chance to grow up and be president, mm -hmm. but billionaires can cut their own checks. And so the primaries or the national pressure of the electoral system right. doesn't apply doesn't to them. Doesn't apply to them. So they just right. decide, well, I don't I have some free time. I think I'm going to go run for president. Not yeah. this year. Do 2020. Antarctic, no. Antarctic ballooning. How about it? Yes. Learn to bowl. I don't care what you do. Don't run for president. Now, there, uh, there, we've had a few of the 20 2020 yes. uh, hopefuls on the show. Yes. Who, who do you like so far? Well, I mean, I may be a little biased because I'm also a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, but I love Kamala Harris. <laughs> I think that she is smart. I think she's principled. I think she's tough. In my life, I've never broken any rules, but I swear she scares me every time she's grilling somebody. I get nervous. Like, what did I take? What did I do? I get really nervous. <laughs> and former, she's, former prosecutor. Yeah, she's amazing. And I feel like what she said, we are better than this is the perfect example of what we are supposed to be as a nation. I feel like in the last couple of years, we've forgotten what we're supposed to be, a melting pot, everyone welcome, a place where you can come and bring your tired and your worn out. We've missed that. We've lost that. And I think her statement of we are better than this is like a call for all of us to be better. Be better. Be better. Be better. Be better. Be, better. be best. Well, I don't, be know, best. I don't know about be best, but be now, better. Uh, you... You, you star in, 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 in Weird City, yes. which was created by Jordan Peele, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, on, uh, it's YouTube. on YouTube Premium, mm -hmm. or YouTube, is that right? YouTube, YouTube Premium, YouTube yeah. Premium. And what, what is it about? It's, it's a series of a different stories about what's going on in this weird city, right? Yeah, it's kind of like an anthology, kind of like Twilight Zone, where there's no longer a middle class, so it's like us next year. There's the haves. <laughs> The haves and the have-nots, mm -hmm. and it's how we interact with each other. Um, and each episode is about one particular thing, like maybe um, on social media obsession or online dating. So it's, it's interesting things that we care about now, but seen through the lens of these, these above, above the line and below the line people. Oh, so the, the difference of the economic power. Uh, yes, how it, how it plays out. Are, are you your single lady yourself? I am single. Okay. Do you, do you, are you on the, on the dating app? I am like on the dating all apps. Of them? All well, of them? Okay. I'm on all of them under my name. Oh, really? I, it's really me, yeah. Do you have, do you have a favorite? Do you like um, the one? I like Bumble because the woman gets to decide. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got to clap for Bumble? Yeah. 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 So, do, as, as does it always go well? I it never it goes well. <laughs> never. Or else you wouldn't be on I the wouldn't app be, anymore. I wouldn't be on the app anymore. You know what it is? I, I always want to be kind to people, and so I'll get a, a message from someone, and, and I don't want to be the one that damages some guy who's out there trying to find his wife, so I'll, he'll say, well, Yvette, you know, nice to meet you. I love your pictures. And I'll write back, well, John, thank you so much for your kind message. And then John thinks it's a match, and it's not a match, and then John's like, you want to get coffee, and I really don't want to get coffee. Then I end up with an inbox full of messages from people that I really don't want to go out with, but they're very nice. Nice. So wow. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it right. No, I have not dated in weeks. At and least we <laughs> many, like several thousand yes. weeks. Yes. For several thousand weeks. What's it, what's it like out there? Does the man pay? Does the woman pay? I'm, or... I'm kind of old-fashioned. I feel like the first date the man should pay. But I'm not a filet mignon lobster dinner chick. I'll stay in the, like, $15.99, $20 range. <laughs> Um, I don't want to kill him, early you know. Bird, yeah, early, early bird, bird special. special. Let's do it. <laughs> I had an online date recently, and the guy came in, and the first thing he said to me, you guys, I promise, he said, I only put 30 minutes in my meter. And I was like, wow. noted, noted. 
So we, we ordered drinks, uh, not drinks, like, like tea, uh, you know, iced tea, whatever. And finally the bill comes. And I said, well, before we get the bill, can I just get a bow, like the little bow sandwich, the little bread, the little dumpling? Y'all oh, know sure, what a bow sure. is. Yeah, sure. And the bow was five bucks, right? And we got the drinks for free because the bartender recognized me. So that was taken. So the bill comes. The bill is $5.41. The guy looks at me and says, yeah, I'm going to let you get that because I didn't eat nothing. <laughs> I was like, I can't get the bow? I'm not bow worthy? Five forty one. So that's wow. my dating experience. That's time to bow out. It's time to bow <laughs> out. Nicely done, Thank sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, well, Weird City premieres February 13th on YouTube Premium. Yvette Nicole Brown, everybody. We'll be right back.